Dr. Bob, um, my doctor says I have cancer. Uh, I've lost 30 pounds of weight. I'm in the hospital. He's trying to get me better. He's given me chemotherapy. Why do I have to have blood tests so often? What are the blood tests doing? Well, let's talk about that because they are so, so important. Number one, we're testing the white blood cell count. Now, when we have chemotherapy, frequently it lowers the white blood cell count, especially the neutrophils. Those neutrophils are the cells that fight off infection. So your doctor has to know how low those neutrophils are. So if you get fever, he's not going to see a real high white blood cell count because it's being suppressed. So he'll have to start you on antibiotics and get blood cultures earlier than he might normal the red blood cell count. When we have cancer, we frequently have anemia. That's the red blood cell count. It goes low. And sometimes it just makes us feel so tired that we tend to want to maybe even give up because we don't feel good. And sometimes a blood transfusion or medicine to stimulate the blood count can make people feel good and they can make it where they're looking more forward to chemotherapy. It's a hard time, it's a tough time. The third thing the doctor looks at is your blood platelets. Now chemotherapy knocks out platelets. Plates, platelets are what are responsible to stop bleeding. And so there's a tendency to have bleeding and bruising when somebody's on chemotherapy. Know that it's very important for your doctor to get those blood tests so that when you get infection, we'll know what to do so that uh, when you're anemic, we can maybe have a transfusion or special medications, and that if your platelets are low, we can replace those. Uh, it's such an important time to have trust with your doctor. Good luck on that. Uh, I wish I was there to help you.